just find it funny. He immediately tries to stab me, just gets his fucking weapon swatted aside, and then impaled immediately. Just. Why do I see in the stream chat fucking spiders? <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about tarantulas and how they were cute. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna... Nope, I'm fixing this. What? what nope, like I will not have spiders. You Fuck your like spiders. Tarantulas? No, I do not like tarantulas. Why? They're fuzzy and cute. No, they're... Uh, fuck you, they're, they're fuzzy adorable. and cute. They're cute. No, they're adorable. No, this is they fuzzy are... and cute. They're cute. No, no this is fuzzy cute. and cute. Okay. No, tarantulas are. No, rats are. Ew, no, let the spider kill the rat. It's a problem solved. Fuck you. Rat will kill the spider. <laughs> no, tarantulas literally eat rats. <laughs> rats can eat spiders. Not a tarantula. Not a domesticated rat. <laughs> well, no, even a wild one, because the erg hitting hairs will just kill it if it tries. You cannot tell me these cute little images are not fucking adorable. Not as adorable as the tarantula. Nah, Tarantula's fuck your cool. tarantulas. I would love to fuck a spider woman, but that is no. a, that is a fun monster girl. Lady Come on, look how adorable that is! You cute little lady, but I got a rat. Looks more adorable. In... No, I'm, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I had a, I had a place I could have taken that, but I don't want to because that would have just been mean. We appreciate your strength. <laughs> Dude! Nice! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh! Fuck, fuck, fuck your spiders! I'll, I, I'd rather deal with the bird than the spider, I'll be real with you. Oh, I need to be quiet. Forgot. I was just going to sleep. I gotta be quiet. Anyone would rather deal with a bird than a tarantula, at least before a goose drowns them. Or was it a swan? I remember there was a story about a guy who got drowned in the UK by a swan or a goose. Apparently I killed the chat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then another spider came. Yes. I... <laughs> Mm, big ugly fucking bastard! Oh, so how we're we witnessing the after story of Itsy Bitsy Spider. No. So again, after the rain came and washed the spider out, a new spider came. Just no. That spider eats birds. This one does not, I don't think. Oh, you have a Goliath bird eating spider? Yes. I fucking <laughs> saw one of those. I don't know if I've told this story to you guys. I probably oh, wait, no, that's not, a, that's not a Goliath bird eater. A Goliath bird eater, at least at one point, held the record for the largest spider in the world at a foot in diameter. Yes. And this fucker eats birds. <laughs> Again, if you want the most deadly spider, believe it or not, it is not in Australia. Okay, if you guys want bugs so badly, okay, granted, spiders are arachnids, not insects, yeah. but... Spiders are arachnids. Bugs are I disgusting. I was just saying! God, if you I let me disgusting. finish, you God. jerk. God. Sure. I said, <laughs> granted, spiders are not insects, they're arachnids, but if you guys want bugs so badly, how about butterflies? Because Spider. butterflies are bugs and not arachnids. <laughs> <laughs> But they're still in <laughs> You guys want creepy crawly while butterflies are in the category. Yeah, but they're not spiders, though. Fuck spiders. I don't want spiders. Can we Bradley. not have spiders? No, no, no. Can Hold we on. just have arachnids? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, let's fuck the spiders. Spider women no. are hot. I'd rather just Wait. have butterflies, Hold please. Hold on, Bliss. No. If you don't like spiders, why do you want... I'm not. I'm just not. I gonna... don't like no butterflies. As you can see, this spider is planking. Uh, <laughs> and play. He is large. No, dude, look. Is that a Goliath bird eater? I think that one actually is. I, I specifically looked up Goliath bird eater that time. So. Yeah, those things are huge. Um, yes. Here's another fun thing. Uh, camel spiders can scream. So there was a time where British uh, soldiers saw one. They tried to step on it, but it scurried to the left really quick. And they hit its four of its legs, and it screamed at them. Terrifying. Gross. Okay, I, I'm indifferent to spiders unless they're bigger than my hand, but if I ever heard a spider make an audible sound at me, that would freak me out. 
As you can see, the spider has a health bar. And a mana bar, because fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> butterfly. Damn, that's a huge I, butterfly. Aye, aye, and you're a little butterfly. I think I that's... That song. I think that's the... What do they call it? The Queen Elizabeth Butterfly. It's the rarest and supposedly biggest butterfly in the world. And by law, you cannot touch it. Because they're so horribly endangered. Um... I saw a documentary about it too. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. A guy was studying major some interesting insects, including the fucking bullet ant, <laughs> uh, bird-eating spider, and uh, yeah, he was trying to find this specific type of butterfly too. Um, he totally panicked though because um, so yeah, by law it is a, you cannot touch this butterfly. So he didn't touch it. He was just videotaping it and taking pictures. And then suddenly the son of a bitch landed on his hat. He totally panicked. He's like, "Shit, what do I do? I'm not supposed to touch it. Get, no, please get off my hat!" And then, and then it continued to crawl on his head, and then it landed on his face. And he's like, "Oh, I'm going to jail, aren't I?" Well, no. <laughs> but, but he did it. He didn't touch it. It touched him. Yeah, it touched him. But it's like, "Oh shit, please but get off." Surely, me. at that point, it's the fault of the butterfly if you touch it. <laughs> I don't know the law. It's, the law like, in the Amazon is really. I mean, I mean the Amazonian. I don't know about the Amazonian natural government floppy floppers. I don't know. They're really picky about this shit. I mean, <laughs> yes, but he has literal video evidence of the butterfly touching him with no input from himself. So it's like he's literally I, I asking it to touch it. Fucking, like I mean, his hat it wasn't even point. that. His hat wasn't even that colorful. It was a gray hat. It just landed on. Him decided to explore him, and he's like, oh shit, I think I know why. It's the salt from my sweat. <laughs> ah, I see. It's attracted to the liquid he was... <laughs> it's attracted to the sweat. <laughs> so sweaty. Mm, sweaty. Yes, I like butterflies too. In fact, I really, really wanted to go back to Houston. Just go to the Butterfly Museum. Is it a museum for butterflies? Well, it's actually a- it's interesting, it's a triple- It's a triple layer museum, basically. You have the Butterfly Museum, the Dinosaur Museum, and the Anatomy Museum. Uh, you can guess what the Anatomy Museum is about. <clears throat> um... Dicks? Huh? Dicks? <laughs> no, um, you know how they take body- real bodies and they reshape and sculpt them? Yes. Yeah, and you see all the muscles and everything. Yes. Yeah. I, I never go there. <laughs> Why does it freak you out? Yeah, it freaks me out. <laughs> you, do you not like work? Do you not like seeing the inner workings of your uh, skin suit? Yeah, basically. <laughs> but but, the, <laughs> but with the butterfly museum, the first thing you have to walk through in order to just get to the museum part is to go through the aquarium. Uh, which basically home is a home to thousands of butterflies. Fun, fun. Ask Buzz, what's it like living with Aeon and Solar? I, well, I don't live with them, so... Thankfully, Solar does not live with us. <laughs> yeah, no, because then I might force you to do healthy things, like make sure that you eat, you know? It's fun to be awful. <laughs> Either that or take no, a no, me and Solar would just randomly disappear to the poop dealer to acquire poop every so often. Yes, that too. <laughs> I'm just dying for someone in the chat to not get it and ask you guys why you're kneeling and shit. Yes, why, why, why did you drive two hours to acquire poop from the poop dealer? Because it's poop. Yeah, and then I could put the poop inside of Aeon's dick and then use that too. <laughs> what? Just ignite. Ignite the poop with hellfire. Hold on, I'm gonna PM you, Goldie, and I'll explain it! <laughs> Damn, that would be the pizza. Brother, can I put my poop in Wait, that means Golden was the one I was waiting for, the one who wouldn't get it. <laughs> yes. There you go, that should give you some clarity, hey, <laughs> Goldie! <laughs> ah, so that's where Ash Lake is. Comforting. 
But yeah, Solar lives about two hours away from us. Aeon does is roommate with me and Z has fun though. Um, it's been an, it's been more than two years you've been li living with us. Give or take. Hello. <laughs> I think Aeon died. No, I'm here. Oh well, that was a that was a question, kind of. Oh, okay. Re ask me. I said, I think you've been living here for a little over two years now. That's about right. Like, I came just at the beginning of 2019. Yeah. Just about. Fiddity. Uh, huh? I've got a Chewbacca. Uh, how do you? How do you like your eggs? Yeah, how do you? I like them sunny side up. I discovered how to make those, so it's very nice. <laughs> or rather, what are you doing? I, I, like I, I said, learned the technique breath. for doing them, which I will. I, I'd like to say is more of a pain in the ass than it's worth, but you know. Just, I can do it, and that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, people want to see the butterfly place? It's a nice place. Trick is to wear colorful clothes when you go into the aquarium, and butterflies might land on you. It's nice. <laughs> You're not allowed to touch them, but they can touch you. I'm yes. Sorry. Oh. But yeah, once you get into the museum, they have quite the collection of specimens in the insect department. I never thought beetles could get so big. Tell <laughs> me, Jesus. Ask Bliss, how do you like your burgers and don't say like dance? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> because they're there anyway now. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, how do I like my burger? Um, Texan style, I guess. Cheeseburger with extra cheese, bacon, and jalapeno. Some onion, a little bit of pickle, ketchup, and mustard. Good to go. I see. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you don't like bacon and jalapenos on your cheeseburger. Come on. Come on. Why would, I, why would I ever it, that's cool. not like those? <laughs> what, what, do I seem like some kind of fucking un-American fuck to you? Some kind of fucking <laughs> un-American? <animal? laughs> yeah. Is she feeling any better today, Goldie? No, she's been having to sleep uh, huge chunks of the day. She, her head hurts. Um... More than once, big... more than once, she had to hurl. Uh, if that keeps up or her temperature starts to spike, y'all need to see a doctor. I'm thinking the same thing. All right. That was that was two cents from Mama Bliss. There you go. I'll get that. <clears throat> Ever tried fried onion rings and jalapenos on your burger? No, I think that's a little too much. Sometimes less is more. You know what's actually really good on a burger, especially with bacon? Hmm. Fried eggs. 
Oh. <laughs> no, you kind of just named the Lars's favorite. Yeah, the burger. diner, the diner style burger. Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. that's it's Lars's favorite. Healthy for you, but by God, does it taste? Oh good. no, no, no! It's it's amazing because uh, it was made for workers who uh, typically did like blue collar labor jobs, so they needed the extra protein, so they would throw it on because let's be real, whatever you might have weight you might have gained from it, you'll immediately burn it off. I mean. Also, a great hangover perk up. Also, that's oh, God. Yeah. Like, but yeah, that's oh, Lars' you favorite hangover, burger. Or just eat the greasiest, nastiest shit imaginable that you can possibly construct, and uh, you'll, you'll be fine. That's the cure. We have the cure. We, we can make him better. <laughs> I personally just like my eggs sunny side up with some hash browns, some bacon and sausage, or some ham. Some sausage. All, all three porks. <laughs> so basically, the i the IHOP uh, breakfast sampler. <laughs> I have yet to find a form of eggs that I don't like. Again, a boiled, fried, scrambled. Just yes. White tight night slab. Oh boy. Something I'd like to try is a heavy southern style breakfast, but I don't think I could eat it at all. But they eat it with steak and eggs. Can confirm steak and eggs. Oh boy. That's some good <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's like a rancher's breakfast. <laughs> well, yeah. Cowboys have to get their protein in before they get on a horse and saddle up for moving the herds. <laughs> they need their protein. They need their protein. Their produce. <laughs> oh, who's here? Oh, I know where this is going. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, put that, and then I'm gonna inhale some of that, and then I'm just gonna... Yeah. So I'm looking at the, the freaking um, broadcaster, and apparently I had over 300 dropped frames. Oof. What the flip-flop? Yeah. I mean... That kind of sounds bad on paper, but when you think about the fact that ideally you're seeing about 60 frames per second, that's not so bad. No, I always said it's a 24. Still, 24 frames a second is not, it's not as bad as it could be. <laughs> Ask Blizz, ever try a Texas toast breakfast sandwich? Um, does a patty melt count? <laughs> I mean, that's literally a hamburger on Texas toast. <laughs> it's not a breakfast yes, sandwich. Not. It's a, not a breakfast sandwich, but close enough. Check a bread steak. Yeah, that's not unusual in the South. It's unusual. That's like, that's like quintessential Southern dish. You're making me so fucking hungry. Because let's be real, like, you know, if, if you're thinking of country, like, chicken fried steak, you're not thinking of the north, you're not thinking of the west, you're thinking of the south. We know how, we know how to serve you southern soul food. Yeah, no. The south being good at making food? Uh, fucking, it's more likely <laughs> than you think. You know, it, the, south, the south's hat is comfort food. Like, of all, of all the states, it has, like, some of the best comfort food. Oh yeah, 100%. You know why? There's a reason that the phrase Southern Comfort exists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they even named a drink after it. And a flavor of ice cream. Apparently uh, there's a drink mix called American Champagne, which is when you mix Southern Comfort and Mountain Dew. Oh, actually, hang on a second. It oh, I never Comfort tried that. Southern Hospitality, that's what the flavor was called. <laughs> it's still good, though. I enjoyed it. Wait, flavor of what? Ice cream, called Southern oh. Hospitality. 
Is that like a Ben and Jerry's thing? Uh, I think it's Bluebell. Uh, sure it's oh, I was about to say. I'm pretty sure it's Bluebell because Bluebell is like 98% of the fucking ice cream I've eaten in my life. Yeah, it's... Isn't that restricted to the southern states anyway? Or is it just Texas? Oh, I'm gonna research that. Bluebell is restricted to what states? <laughs> Bluebell is in how many states? Search. 23 states. In all, Blue Bell products are available in 23 U.S. states, including Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, <laughs> Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada, New Mexico, the Carolinas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming's kind of the outlier here. So basically the southern mid-plains. The southern states and Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Are you guys done wearing cowboy hats? <laughs> wow. You Bitch, you want like you want to hats? wear one. <laughs> like you don't want to wear one. Don't don't play don't play coy with me, Cali boy. <laughs> cowboy hats make you easily two hundred percent more fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm hold it back saying. the punches. Jesus. I'm I'm just saying. Uh, wait, are we. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> Am I to imagine Golden is going to show up on a beach, total surfer dude, and be like, he yaw, bros. Oh my, oh my god. god. I, he'll be shot. <laughs> Am, I Am I sexually desirable now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ellie's losing her shit over the pick you post. <laughs> Which one? There's like a there's like five hundred. Oh, I see. Ellie, get your ass in here. That's if she's up for it. It's a it's a butterfly. It's a rare Amazon butterfly. I swear, it's not a moth. It's, it's not a moth. Know, it's also Both. out during the day. What's wrong with moths? Moths are cute. Moths are kind of cute. The only the only thing I don't like about moths is they eat your clothes if you're not wearing yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, they eat your clothes. It's not a moth, I swear. Actually, I think that's the wrong butterfly. Let me look like up. Giant rare butterfly. What's the name of it? What is the most rare butterfly? The palace red is blue. <laughs> really? Well, what do you look like? I mean, that could have been a moth. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> could have been a moth. It <laughs> could have been. But no, I'm looking for the giant. Giant. Hang on, accurate yeah. is spelled with two R's or two C's? Two C's. Out. Also, I want to point out, um, yeah, apparently this is called an Atlas Moth, so it is in fact a moth. <gasps> oh, shit, that was a moth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck. I feel bad. <laughs> um, don't tell her. <laughs> Too late. No! Oh, Sellers doing it. <laughs> no. Oh. Fuck. What have you done? <laughs> I fucked up. I pointed out the error. <laughs> the Atlas Moth. Also, I just, yeah, no, I, I want to <laughs> say the Atlas Moth. That's a pretty cool name. <laughs> oh, <my> hmm. <laughs> also, apparently, it's, uh,. Yeah, no, it's, it's indigenous <laughs> to Asia, not the Amazon, so... Yeah, uh, I fucked up really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm off when I see it! I can he literally hear her voice when reading that message. <laughs> I know I'm off when I see one! The jungle are gonna, like, gonna, gonna go off. Fuck. Giant oh, she scrolled up. <laughs> 
Ew, that guy's tickling a cockroach. Ew, gross. What? No. I know what when I see one of the giant spider quits like. Okay, here, here. This was the butterfly I was I meant to talk about though. There it is. Is it that's a pretty butterfly. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's very pretty. The Queen Elizabeth. What do you mean, blame me for- Oh yeah, I see. I did just- <laughs> <laughs> for, Like, for half a second, I was- I thought you were still talking about the moth. I'm like, I didn't post the moth- Oh no, I did post the giant bird-eating spider. Never mind. That's fair. <laughs> I meant to show that one by bad. I'm sorry, Ellie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think she can hear your fervent- apology. I know! I know! I got shit! <laughs> No, she's terrified of moths, I forgot. Why? <laughs> she- they're- well, she's scared of those, but she- she gets- You know how I have a- a phobia of bees? She has that, but with, uh, maggots. Oh, god. No, I don't blame her on that one. Yeah, no, fuck maggots. And I think she associates moths with maggots. Bless, calm well, down, I, I was being overdramatic. Is, is, is it <laughs> comedic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ask Bliss, how do you like your fried chicken? Uh, extra crispy? Fried. Fried. <laughs> As it turns out. Um, usually fried and cooked all the way. Yeah. <laughs> we can be comedic, comediac, comedians. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, large moths do scare me, but like, it's not a fly baby picture. Yeah, that. Yeah, the, don't you? I, I, I really am legit not joking when I say this. Do not show her pictures of maggots. Don't. Uh, well, maggots are fucking disgusting. So no. Yes. Yeah. J no. J no. She. That's like legit. Don't. There. There's personal reasons behind it. I'm not gonna go into it here, but just don't. Yeah. Okay. Maggots are gross. Why would I? Why would I want to show pictures? People yeah, they're disgusting. <laughs> one I'm dead serious when I say it is. One mega picture and I will fucking leave the goddamn story. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I just I just told them. Yeah, I just told them not to joke with that and when they said, why would we? Maggots are effing disgusting now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Well, it's, it's true. true. Ask Solar, what do you think Aeon's cold one would be like? Oh, god fucking damn it. Oh, it's Solar! <laughs> yes. It's, it's a moth we can all respect. It's <laughs> <Sultra. laughs> huh? And a Great big fuck you right back at your solar. <laughs> but it's Mothra! <laughs> Mom, mama of monsters! It's a kaiju. <laughs> it's a kaiju! <laughs> it is! She's okay, you could have shown her a prettier picture of Mothra than that one, because that one makes her look more like a moth. <laughs> Even though wow! <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder this why character Mothra named look like Mothra a looks like a moth. <laughs> wow! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, but there are better yeah, artwork. Next thing you know, you're gonna tell me the constellation Leo is supposed to represent a lion. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> she looks. She looks better in other images, though. You had to pick that one. What are you talking about? It is a yeah, look. There are prettier movie. pictures of Mothra you could have found than that one. What, you wanted me to use the cheesy older ones? No, this one. See, look how pretty that is. See? Pretty Mothra. It still makes her look like a moth. No, it does. Cold. Look how pretty she is. <laughs> it's, she's still a moth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you... no. <laughs> okay, okay, you can okay, use a point. picture of a no, giant moth. You can only use this picture of a giant moth. No. Well, how much are you willing to bet work? that she's gonna jump in the call and scream at all of you? <laughs> Please don't kill me, Ellie. <laughs> it's probably going to. <laughs> I mean, we can. I mean, she can at least take solace in the fact that uh, moth is fucking dead as usual.
Hello, it's, darkness, my old friend. It's not gonna matter. <laughs> You can at least take solace in the fact that Mothra is dead like usual. Oh, oh god damn it! Tell me I'm fucking wrong though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually went and I fucking I actually went and I did the fucking research for this. Out of all the movies that Mothra is ever featured in, they survive like four of them. And there's a lot of fucking movies with Mothra in it. <laughs> and yeah, no, one of the, in, like, at least three of those four movies, it's not even the actual Mothra, it's Mothra's son, who's like, Mo whose name is like Mothra Leo, so, so, if you want to get really semantic about it, like, it's one movie, pretty much. You tried. I get a gold star. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. What is this? Ferret Moon? Oh, I can't play the videos. I'm still streaming. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> also, what do you mean too soon? From memory, name a movie where Mothra has survived. <laughs> There actually was one. I can't remember yeah. it, though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Case in fucking point. I think it was actually Star Space point? Godzilla. What? I thought Aeon's cold one was Aeon's cream. Wait, wait was fucking Mothra yeah. in Space Godzilla? She went I... into outer space. I remember that. I mean, yes, but I'm pretty sure Mothra was never mentioned in Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla because that's where Mogira was introduced. Mogira 2.0, a.k.a. the good one. We don't talk about the fucking other one that is an abomination. <laughs> Alright, so... We talk about the one that was made from the Heisei Mechagodzilla, which was also the good one, ex with the exception of Kiryu, because Kiryu's better in every conceivable way. You want to I mean, let, can we just be because he fucking won? That's why. Twice. Can we just can we just be real here? Mothra never dies. She just resurrects herself. She fucking dies. Yeah, she fucking she dies, dies only time. to reborn into another. <laughs> I think it's time we change the subject. Uh, Wheel of Steel. Um, to correct you on the different cold ones, um, I said that Aeon's uh, cold one is going to be a uh, cream soda. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, Logix, um, had the agreement that his is gonna be, uh, like a black cherry. Hmm. What was mine again? You called yours, like, electric something. Hang on, let me look it up. Cause was you it made electric your... rainbow? Yeah. Electric rainbow? Yeah. 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 That sounds that's like a monster. That sounds like one of those energy drinks, the monster drinks. And that fucking sucks. I hate energy drinks. <laughs> I, I like You energy. came up with it! I know! I like... Well, I mean, I say it. Yeah, well, actually, no, that's fair. I, I actually do like a fair amount of the energy drinks that I purchase, but my favorite one is probably the Rockstar Punch ones, the ones where they're like energy drinks mixed with punch. Oh, Desert yeah. Samurai, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> Aeon, Aeon of, of Creams. creams. <laughs> Aeon of Creams. Oh, that's good. That's, really <laughs> that's good. That's really good. Oh wait, no, no, no! Oh, okay, I can feel a little bit better about my drink because it's coffee. You know what? <laughs> a part of me wants to say that maybe if I were to change it up a bit, because thank God you didn't crack a cold one yet. The Good. background, like your OC is white and there's a rainbow uh, streak. Uh, the background mm -hmm. can be like a brownish color to indicate that it's a coffee drink. Yeah, like a, a healthy chestnut brown or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, do it. I give you permission. Do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Electric <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> Electric <laughs> rainbow brought to you by Starbucks. <laughs> oh, brought to you by Starbucks. Oh god, getting Silver Quill involved now. Oh, well, did you even know that uh, Keyframe was the one who invented that? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah that was from a Silver Quill. Uh, yeah. So uh, what happened was. Well, she told me, and she shared this to a lot of other people, when they were the works of working on the script for um, Inspiration Manifestation, uh, Silver uh, was uh, AFK, and Keyframe decided to just type it in, let's get, uh, take you to Starbucks, and uh, 
there was a joke where uh, Silver was running away and she follows up with, get back here. Ugh. Oh, that was in that collab they did a long time ago. It was the actually, it was the first video to feature her. No, wait, second. Because the other one was a, um, some kind of a, what was it? Some kind of a campaign advertisement mm -hmm. where Silver took a few errors in the head and she's like, how is he still alive? But no, How um, but it, still alive. Oh yeah, no. Okay, so when taking uh, taking Silver to Starbucks, um, she was suggesting another drinking game. Like every time we see something shiny in the episode, take a shot. No, I want to live. Get back here, Wiener. <laughs> Wiener. <laughs> I'm sorry. I actually remember. Um, so here's the thing. I've worked with Silverquill in TF2. I did uh, like a cameo in one of his episodes, uh, an actual Halloween collab on his channel. And he's been in several of my announcement videos, but we never actually collabed on my channel before. Who? Up until recently with the Impact and Introvert video I did. I kind of feel bad though when I realize that I need to, I need to invite him to more stuff. I'm still looking forward to um, the the future video that we scripted together on. <laughs> well, trust me, I've not forgotten it. I still need to record for two other scripts though first before I can even touch oh, down I on know. yours. Take, yeah, no, I like I'm trying to like get as much time as I can to get the um, to get something uh, a little special to add on to it. I will yeah. not specify the details, but you'll know what I mean. Um, I hope you are working on it because... Yeah, uh, something that I'm still fucking waiting for... No, two things I'm waiting for is that I last month I ordered a keyboard and it's been almost a month and it hasn't been shipped out yet. And for over two months, um, there's some hardware to upgrade my uh, laptop and it still has not shown up. There hasn't been a single update in over a month. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't want to get too angsty about it because we have the pandemic going on. But at the same time, I'm like, is it really going to take that long? Um, uh, who you're getting it from? Uh, well, the keyboard or the components for the laptop? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, fine. I'll have to take in both answers. <laughs> I ordered the keyboard from GuitarCenter.com, and the uh, components for my laptop I ordered from a website called Newegg. Why didn't you order these things from Amazon? They weren't available on Amazon. Uh, also, Newegg would be way cheaper than Amazon. Mm, fair enough. New Newegg is like dedicated computers and computer parts, yeah. and they usually have a billion deals going on. I just don't know about these other two websites. I've never heard of them before, and thus far, Amazon's been pretty reliable. Wait, so. hold on. You don't know what Guitar Center is? No. Um, Why would I? I don't buy guitar stuff. <laughs> I do not buy guitar stuff. <laughs> I do not buy guitar stuff. <laughs> Fins can be finnaman spice blueberry soda and get it some... Do we have Finn in the server? Uh, That's a good don't... question. I don't that is a good those. question. Oh, shit. Um... I ought to, like, I, I can offer it to him. It'd be fun to have Finn in the call. Yes. I do not Finn's believe you have him. Yo, he is. He's absolutely wonderful to have. He's a Finn buddy. I love little bro. He's Finn. great. Finny Finn, Finny Finn, 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 Finn. Finn, Finny Finn, Finn, Finn. <laughs> That's, That's my, my nickname, nickname to him. You gotta find your own nickname. That's mine. Oh, Get find your own. Your own. You'll find your own nickname, laddie. <laughs> oh, Magical Star. Um, okay, just to give you an update um, the possibility of someone stealing the stuff, it, they would have told me that it was completely delivered at my home and I didn't see it. It wasn't delivered yet. I actually called Newegg, like, on the phone, and they said that there hasn't been a connection to the latest location yet uh, for whatever reason. And uh, the person um, or the company who sent it out they said just maybe give it like another week or so. That's the latest update there. Uh, the keyboard, it hasn't been shipped out yet. 
So yeah. Well, it sounds like you got a game plan if it's if it's if another week goes by. It sounds like it, yeah. Um, because otherwise I'll just contact back saying, "Hey, it's been like another week or so, and nothing has happened." Um, and yeah, then I would start considering um refund options. There's the other option, which is replacing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it would probably yeah. have, like, a better shipment process. Yeah. For all we know, maybe the uh, the components, like, they got broken during the shipping. And that happens I would, sometimes. I would just say, fucking call them or email them or whatever and just be like, yo, it's been, like, a solid month. I did. I haven't heard shit. Okay, so did they reply or... They did reply. I was literally just talking about it. So, they, they yeah, he was just saying he did reply and that they said it's just not been shipped yet. And they said to wait. They told him to wait another week. But I mean, OK, that's, so the, another I'll, week is like fair enough. If they said some shit like, I don't know, like another month or so, I'd say, OK, at that point, just be like, hey, just yeah. send it back to me. I'll the, fucking find somebody. The else. reply over the uh, components for my laptop, they said um, that's the one where they said just like give it another week. Like next Wednesday or something like that. Uh, the keyboard, it hasn't been shipped out yet. I did get a call from Guitar Center saying, hey, uh, thank you for purchasing this. If you have any questions, give us a call. And maybe tomorrow I might consider that. And just say, hey, it's been a month. Uh, what's been going on? And I just wanted to get an update. And, you know, try not to be a dick about it. <laughs> don't be a dick. Yeah, don't. Please not... don't be a dick. Yeah. Are you sure that I don't look like a dick? Yeah. <laughs> Please, don't be a dick. Quite. We know. Anyways, I think it's time I uh, call it a night, because, uh, good God, how long have I been streaming for? Uh, almost, wow. almost five hours. God damn. Ha! Pathetic, anyways. <laughs> um, I don't tend to go on for several hours. I do. It's a problem. Love that your red brother over here calls you out. <laughs> God damn. My belch brother. Uh -huh. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yes. And I'll just call him brother. You call him belch brother. Yes. Meanwhile, he's my little bro. Meanwhile, Aeon and well, Vlad Finn is. call. Meanwhile, Vlad and Aeon call each other. Uh, what was it called? White Mocha. White Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's our buddy. That's our occult buddy cop name because we are both like occult witch cops or something. And uh, if we're both uh, femboys enjoying uh, with a part time undercover jobs at Femboy Hooters, then we are soy latte. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Um, have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you next week. <laughs>